You want to know one of the biggest secrets to feeling really happy? Mm, I do. Well, I'm going to tell you in just a second. Okay. Hey, it's Scott and Jeff. Welcome back. If you've been with us before, if you haven't, then what are you doing? Where have you been? Seriously, yeah, I mean, come on. come on, man. I mean, get with the Jeez. get with the times. Yeah. Goodness. Uh, we're talking about being happy. Happiness is really what everybody wants. And so I wrote a book called The Seven Ups of Happiness. Jeff and I are doing a series of videos, many, many videos on these seven ups. And each video is just one tiny facet of one of the seven ups because there are literally many. Seven times seven times seven. Seventy times seven times yes. seven ups out there that we'll talk about. Uh, in this particular up, we are talking about um, one of the seven ups, which is give it up. And that has to do with happy people are appreciative people. They're thankful people. They have an attitude of gratitude. Pe I like that. One. People. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. oh, You've yeah. got examples of... Oh, man. You know, and, and it's all part of giving without without expecting something in return, right? I remember uh, probably the one the one that stands in my mind well, for the rest of my life. So I get to open for Jay Leno, right? In front of 2,000 plus people. I get to go Not name yeah. dropping at no. all. No, heavens no. No, heaven was, forbid. Uh, Cosby after that year, but we won't talk about him anymore. He was. Anyway, so uh, I go up, I do 15 minutes, right? I mean, it, it just did great, fantastic. People, standing ovation, whatever. I go running off stage. <laughs> You know, he's so humble. And uh, yeah, I did fine. Yeah, yeah. Standing ovation, whatever. So <laughs> Leno is backstage. He watched my whole set. Usually these headliners, they'll just be up in the room. Yeah, call me when you need me. Right. Yeah, yeah. Bla flash hour. a light, yeah, and I'm yeah. on. Yeah. So he says, "Yeah, you're pretty funny," you know, and that's my best impersonation of Jenna Leno. But uh, anyway, I'm. I so I go thanks. He says, and he stops. He says, "No, you were really good." No, I, do it. Do it like him. He goes, I know, you were really good. Hey? And his chin is swinging around, you know, like that. I'm ducking and weaving. It's like an right? extra appendage. Oh, my gosh. But he goes on. He's, he's super specific. He's talking about specific jokes I told. He's asking me about what clubs am I performing at here in the area. La, 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 la. So he's being very genuine, very authentic. Yeah. And I'm not getting anything in return. Why would he, the king of late night at the time, you know, take the time to thank me? Well, he told me because he said he does about 100 of those a year. And he always has some marketing guy that the company will throw up and uh, on stage, and he'll be cheating off of stuff written on his hand, and, the, and he has to go win the crowd back, right? And to this day, I, I just don't know why in the world I didn't ask him if I could be on The Tonight Show. Yeah, what is the matter with you? I don't know. I was just starstruck. Yeah, one of the keys of happiness is fully taking advantage of people that offer you just a yes. hint of gratitude. Yes. But the beauty of this is that not only did it make Jeff feel great, I mean, but we know what it did for Jay Leno because we've experienced it ourselves. The more that you earnestly, honestly, sincerely, and in an appropriate way, give thanks to people, and they can tell that it's honest and sincere, that you're not trying to get something out of them, it makes you feel all that much better. In fact, sometimes... <laughs> I'll have to admit that it does feel so good that it's not that we manufacture opportunities to say thanks because it serves us, but at least it lets us, it makes us kind of want to look for more reasons to be grateful to people because it's a, it's a natural, uh, it's a natural it's high like a natural for the giver. High. Yeah, absolutely. It's an instant upper. I like to call them instant uppers. Instant if you're, uppers. if you're down, if you're looking for ways to be happy, if you want to put a little joy in your life. Think about anyone in your life right now that you feel grateful for and then express it to them in some way. That's, hu that's huge. Huge. Not huge. Huge. Uh, in the workplace, depending on who you ask, anywhere from 50 to 80% of employees out there say they would actually work harder, work better, work more efficient if they had more appreciation in their lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a reason enough if you're looking as a boss or a manager just to start cracking open the thank you can a little more. Yeah. Do they have a thank you can? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's a small can, unfortunately, out there in corporate world. When, right now it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to want to fill up your whole supply of thank yous, attaboys, good jobs, hey, don't go changings, because those little things, even as small as they are, really do matter. We'll talk more about this in another episode, but for now it is time to cover our top three, personal yes. top three, like, yes. gratitude, thank you moments. But the people that we quickly are most grateful for, and I don't know your list and you don't know mine, 
Number number three, tap th th third person, the worst person that you're grateful for if there were three only. The worst person? That I no, I'm just saying, <laughs> we're doing top three. We'll start at the worst, which is the third. The third. But it's still someone greatest. that you really are grateful for. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. My, my, neighbor, my neighbor right across the street. Wrong. That's Moving it. on. No, okay. just kidding. <laughs> Who? Why? He's just, he, he's, he's, he's probably, I don't know, uh, oh, I think he's about 70, 75, right? Just the sweetest, nicest guy in the world. He always has a smile on his face. Hey, neighbor, type of a thing, you know, and he's just, he's always thankful. He's got this thankful heart, no matter what condition the day is or what he's in. Every time I see him, he makes it a point to cross the street, come over, say hi, appreciate you, you know, all you do, because we do some things together in our local community and in the uh, in the in the church community and stuff like that. So he must love Sydney, huh? Oh yeah. Is, is he like Grandpa him. to her? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty so, cool. And she loves him to death. My number anyway. three is a guy by the name of Charles Lynn Frost. He was my uh, drama teacher and mentor back at Mountain View High School in Orem, and uh, wonderful, wonderfully talented director, but also just a person who cared about you and who wanted to see you succeed. And in fact, helped me succeed at various points in my professional and personal life. So awesome. that's my third. Second for you. So this goes right along with something that I'm sure many of you are dealing with. Uh, I, I hate my boss. If I had my druthers, I would leave my job tomorrow. Well, I've got a boss that I am so thankful to work for. And he's just so cool. He's so flexible. He's a huge mentor to me as well and ha has kind of taught me a few things. But then, you know, sometimes he'll just say, uh, is, is it time to walk over to Starbucks and go get our stuff or whatever? Yeah, so we'll just, you know, for no reason at all. What are you getting at Starbucks? Oh, come on, man. Hey, you got the best <laughs> water in the industry. We, neither of us drink coffee, for which I am grateful, I the, must the say. The chocolatey chocolate chip. Get it, and you'll know what exactly is that—a muffin? No, 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 no. It's a drink. It's like a chocolate, and they they do the spin on it. Oh, so I've it's lost just... you. Oh. oh, he's gone to the dark side. Yes. I don't care what you say. The chocolatey chip side. Well, so he's got a boss who lets him drink coffee with chocolate chips in it. It's funny we we never share our lists. But my number two is my former boss, also at the same company where Jeff sometimes works, <laughs> Adrian Gostick, and by association, Chester Elton, two wonderful authors and, and business gurus who brought me on board and hired me there and uh, really just kind of showed me the ropes on a lot of the things that they know and that I now know, but also for the same reason. Just, you know, it was the kind of situation where it's, what do you want to be? What do you want to do? What are your objectives in life? What are your dreams? Let's build a job for you where you can best make that possibly happen here at work and then the time that you're not at work we want to make sure that you're succeeding there as well so thanks to those guys very quickly to wrap up your number one for number you person one, you're you know, most grateful for uh, the person i'm most grateful for you know you've got your wife and and uh, you doesn't know, count like that doesn't count like that yeah. i'm thinking about people uh, just kind of outside my inner circle right and it's tyler flandro my car salesman Believe it or not, right? We've worked. You with this have guy. a car salesman. I know. Yeah, and that's that's the way he. I've is. got a guy. Yeah, I've got a guy, and I. Go you need to a Peugeot. Right I know time. a guy. Yeah, yeah. He works at uh, Tim Daly Nissan up there in Murray. Come see us at Tim yeah. Daly. Yeah, he knows exactly what we want. All we have to do is call him. He says, "I'll have your new car ready," because you know we do the lease thing. We get a new car about every three years. He knows exactly how to handle, it, so we don't have to go in and get all the paperwork done wow. and spend half a day, if not more, there. It's just go there, turn the car in, pick it up. Tyler, you're awesome. See, now doesn't that make you feel good to yeah. say that to him? Yeah. Have you told him outside of public? No, not really. Yeah, just, maybe. just when I've gone and seen him every three years, which is far too infrequent, right? Yeah. You can't expect to give people appreciation and gratitude uh, when they're walking out the door at their <laughs> retirement party. That's all the, right? That's the time when they all go, if I'd have known that you thought about me this much, I probably wouldn't be retiring. Yeah. A lot of people do say <laughs> that at their retirement. Yeah. My number one is kind of a, I'm, I'm not really cheating. It was part of the rules to not do spouses and people, but I got to say Jesus. And I have him here as well. I know. I saw that you have that on there. That's pretty yeah. good. I'm not going to say any more than that. I just, how do you, there's nothing, I, yeah. uh, who, yeah. ha, who. But I will say this, and it's part of another one of the ups of happiness, which is look up, right? Having a, a belief in something um, that truly having gratitude for him brings me a lot of joy. And that's kind of an instant upper as well. If I recognize that he's the source of a lot of the peace and happiness that I have, it actually fuels additional happiness. And that's sincere from me to you. Okay, so <laughs> we always like to you know, end things in sort of a sarcastic Somewhat way. A but the fact man. is, is that, you know, sarcasm, even though it has a sort of a negative connotation, it, um, 
It really isn't good, is it? No, it's, no. it's not. I was going to say, I was trying to say there's a positive. There just yeah. isn't any way to do that. That's okay. That's yeah. the beauty of, of what, what we're talking care. about. Because yeah. we're still happy anyway. Sure. So, thanks for joining us. Remember, be happy. And if you can't be happy, be sad. So, it's all about giving it up. Give Thank up. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Give the appreciation. I'm telling you, you're going to feel a whole lot better. Who are some of the people and you know, I, I don't know, individuals that you are most thankful for? So talk about it in the comments section. Hit the like button and make sure and subscribe. Mm -hmm.